Welcome back to the baddest man on the planet. No, it's a days. I, I, ooh. Oh! 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 oh my God! The Fedor is in huge trouble here. The overhand punch by Fujita. Holy! Oh. He has defeated the trainer with. I want to know. Everybody came out the first time. He said the guy. No, that's until this far. The crowd is going insane here, folks. If Fujita beats Fedor, it's going to turn the heavyweight division upside down because Fujita's not even ranked in the top ten at the moment. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That looks like about it, Joe. He's going to get him right here. He's oh, got the choke. He's, he's, he's got it. It's he's over. Got it. He's got it. It's over. Whoa. What a fight. Born in the Ukraine province, Fyodor and his family moved to Staryovsko when he was two years old. And from the beginning, Fyodor loved to fight. As I remember, at 11 years old, I started fighting, I started fighting sports. And for the whole time, I dreamed, I wanted to become a big champion. Every mother can see things in her children that makes them who they are. In Fyodor's case, she saw it very early. Со всеми боролся, и в садике боролся, и дома со всеми боролся, очень любил бороться. У нас были в школе и, и дружеские, скажем так, борьба такая, и приходилось драться, поэтому, не знаю, может быть, в моем детстве было этого немножко больше, чем у других детей. Although Fyodor has always loved sports and competition, he also has a passion for the arts. Ходил в школу искусств. Играл на аккордеоне, рисовал, лепил и танцевал. Кому-то играть на аккордеоне, а кому-то слушать. Вот я, наверное, люблю слушать больше, чем, чем играть. You know, it's hard to say why we do what we do or how you end up where you end up. It's an individual, very tactical, very technical sport that somehow touches you inside, it gets inside of you. Fyodor would take his love for fighting with him to the army where he served for two years. While enlisted, he constructed a makeshift gym so he could devote more time reaching new physical and mental heights. I was still working for the exercises, so I was working for the shangai, which was pulled out, well, let's say physically. I was working physically. Let's say, в армии креп духом а, и развивался физически. То есть я пришел уже ну, не молодым мальчиком, к которому ходил, а уже молодым, скажем так, мужчиной. Every man has the urges to dominate inside himself, and uh, some guys get lucky and fall in to the right situations early. I always wanted, always wanted, and felt that I could achieve high results in sambo, here. And when I went to professional, the funny fights, I didn't have any fear. I was very good at everything. 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 Fyodor and his brother Alexander realized that they needed money, so they did what anybody would do. They sought it out. Они сами искали, где разыгрываются соревнования и что разыгрывается. While everybody has a reason for their actions, some things are done simply out of necessity. But in those rare cases, sometimes what you love the most is what you need to do. Плюс всю жизнь занимался спортом, и я понял, что именно от этого дела, от любимого дела, я могу получать, скажем так, отдачу. А, ну, могу зарабатывать, скажем так, на пропитание своей семьи. Next, we explore the serene nature of the world's baddest man. How can someone so ferocious remain so calm? Он как бы уходит в себя, настраивается и. На его лице уже не видно никаких эмоций. Все нервничают перед боем. Кто-то может себе, скажем так, владеть. 
baddest man on the planet. Welcome back to the baddest man on the planet. In Coleman's corner, we have Kevin Randleman victorious earlier tonight over Mirko Prokop, as well as the Iceman Chuck Liddell and Wes Sims. In Emelianenko's corner, Alexander Emelianenko's brother and Vladimir Borov. He's got the armbar. And Coleman has the tap. And Fyodor Emelianenko. It's not just his deadly power, his blazing speed, all his Sambo submission moves. It's really the, the calmness of Fedor Emelianenko that I think freaks all the other fighters out. You see him before a fight, and folks, this is no joke, he will actually sit with his friends and play cards before he goes in to a ring, and he's willingly letting someone try to kill him in that ring. Where does this calmness come from? We'll let Fedor tell you. Я совершенно спокойный. Я понимаю, что все, что происходит в моей жизни, это происходит по воле Божьей. Я принимаю все как есть. While training, Fyodor conditions his mind and body, but it is his spirituality that remains his focus outside the ring. Еще до нашего знакомства с ним, видя его поведение во время поединка, в его уважительном отношении к соперникам, я увидел в нем наилучшие христианские черты. Философия одна должна быть, наверное, у всех жить по заповедям Божьим. Тогда будут все относиться друг к другу так, как хотели бы, чтобы к ним относились люди. Я знаю, как он дисциплинирует. Я знаю, как он воспитывает дух в человеке, стойкость, терпение. Такие люди, здоровые телом, должны быть здоровы и духом. Oleg Nusterev is Fedor's personal physician, psychologist, and masseur. No one can question the champion's physical strength, but what impresses him is what's in Fedor's soul. Это не физическая, чтобы там банки какие-то мышечные были. Нет, это сила такая, что дух, сила, да, выносливости. I think he mentally is one of the strongest people I've ever seen. The calmness that Fedor has, it's 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 got to be natural. I mean, you either have it or you don't. He certainly feels fear. He's human. We think. Все нервничают перед боем. Кто-то может себе, скажем так, владеть этим, а кто-то наоборот звичивает себя и доходит прям, ну, не знаю, до трясучки или до такого нервного шока. If he's going to buy a loaf or bread, or he fights, for him it's the same. It's like, did he just wake up? What, you know, what, what's going on? Yet he's, he's standing in a ring or a cage about to do battle. The scariest people to go against is the quiet ones. They don't say much. It, it, they have nothing to say. Everything that they have to say is going to be when you're one-on-one -on -one in the ring. Мы перед боем мы с друзьями, с тренерами и с друзьями шутим, рассказываем анекдоты, стараемся. Делать все, чтобы было весело и интересно, чтобы не думать о бою, не зацикливаться на бою. Он как бы уходит в себя, настраивается, и э, на его лице уже не видно никаких эмоций. Он, он настраивается, он весь уходит в бой. You see him compared to a lot of other mixed martial artists, the, the, the pump up that they have, sort of the aggression that they have and bring into a fight. I think some fighters, perhaps they lack the confidence and they, they feel they need to show those externally. He, he doesn't have any of that. We've seen the Ali prototype, and that's kind of been done to death. Now people know, oh, well, I'm the greatest, I'm going to kick your ass, I'm blah, 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 blah. Now, now you've seen the, the antithesis of that with the mealing ankle. It's not like he's coming to talk about what he's going to do. He's not talking about bad about his opponent, what he wants to do. Uh, when he get in the ring. Бегать, прыгать, стучать себя в грудь кулаками, говорить, что это я, это все это может отняться в любой момент. Я считаю, что люди, которые так поступают, они заблуждаются. Next, Fyodor reflects on superstardom in his country. Я понимаю, что для кого-то я являюсь кумиром, для кого-то кто-то восхищается мной. Мы считаем, что Федор самый сильный и будет постоянно выигрывать. And how fame and popularity haven't changed the baddest man on the planet. 